Hello, my dear subscribers. My name is Iskander Shashev. It's my channel. I'm economist in the Kyrgyz Republic, that country in the center of Eurasia, in the Central Asia. So that's my uh, QR codes for my channel. Subscribe and uh, you will find some video about this side of the world. And it's my LinkedIn if you're interested. Who am I? And uh, of course, make the comments, uh, ask the questions about our country, about uh, the current situation, and our view, view of Central Asian people to the uh, main events in the world. So uh, there a little disclaimer, please uh, do attention. It's always my uh, own opinion. And uh, my uh, sponsorship uh, partner, it's uh, my company, Sharshev and Partners. We're making the business plans, feasibility studies, marketing studies in Central Asia and in other countries. And so we could help to make the good business plan. If you're interested uh, in the uh, sources of the video, you can find the link for making the order. So uh, today I want to, to, uh, to talk about the Russian-Ukrainian war. The, the Russian-Ukrainian war is an ongoing conflict uh, between Russia and Ukraine that began in 2000, uh, 2014. The conflict started after Russian President Viktor Yanukovych was overthrown in a popular uprising known as a Euromaidan protests. Russia subsequently annexed the Crimea from Ukraine and fighting broke out the eastern Ukrainian regions in Donetsk and Luhansk, where pro-Russian separatists declared independence from Ukraine. The conflict has since escalated into a full-scale war with the both sides accusing the other aggression and violating ceasefires. The war was resulted in the thousands of deaths, uh, displacement of civilians, and significant damage to infrastructure in the affected regions. The conflict has also strained relations between Russia and Western countries, the many accusing Russia of supporting the separatists and violating Ukraine's territorial integrity. As of November 2022, the number of personnel in the conflict between uh, Russia and Ukraine was approximately uh, one six. 3,320 uh, people. There is an increase of uh, 760 individuals. Both of the Russian and Ukrainian forces have suffered interviable uh, losses, and the number of casualties in both sides is likely similar. Uh, 163,000 people died. The Russian invasion of Ukraine was caused the deaths at least uh, 8,311 civilians, including 437 children, according to a report from Ukraine Prosecutor General Andrew Kostin. Additionally, over uh, 11,000 civilians have been injured as a result of the conflict, and uh, the refugees number close to 3 million. So the war was exalted Russia and the logistics of Ukraine alias do not have time to deliver ammunition and ammunition on time. A former advisor of the office of the president of Ukraine, Oleksiy Aristovich, in a uh, Fagin stream says that the spirit of Ukraine is strong and military training motivation allows uh, to achieve tactical superiority over Russian troops. The suggestion that Ukraine should uh, cede its territories to Russia in order to prevent a nuclear war was caused strong uh, bewilderment and annoyance among Ukrainians. As someone who understands their perspective, I can sympathize their feelings with their feelings. The loss of lives and cities uh, such as Bucha, especially those of innocent children, has left Ukrainians with nothing to lose. They may feel justified in seeking revenge and uh, continuing to fight until the end, regardless of the consequences. They are ready to nuclear war. So what do people in the Cruz Republic think about this? Uh, this is our country on the globe. Uh, maybe it looks like a very small and for English language people, especially for United States and some European countries. Uh, there are uh, no any uh, foods about the Kyrgyz Republic, but we are here. They are former Soviet Union country and our people have their own opinion. And I want uh, to tell you what's happening in the informational field. 
In the Kyrgyz Republic in our country, it has become common place of companies and organizations to avoid discussing politics as a part of their corporate culture. And people can uh, be broadly classified into three groups, the silent majority, pro-Russian and pro-Ukrainian. Uh, the majority of people uh, in cities belong the silent group comprising around uh, 80% of the people, of the population. The pro-Ukrainian group, uh, which includes the creative class and influencers, comprises around uh, 10%. While uh, the pro-Putinist group, including many civil servants and law enforcement representatives, make up the remaining 10% of the uh, population. This divide is evident among both of the younger and older Soviet generations, leading to arguments and broken relationships among friends and family members with differing views uh, on Ukraine. In rural areas, the attitude towards Russia has changed significantly, while 80% of villagers previously expressed a desire to hold a referendum and join to Russia. Join Russia. After 2014, almost 90% of the population in the rural area, around uh, 3.5 million people, Kyrgyz people, have shifted their support towards Ukraine. Uh, the villagers have also expressed disappointment and disillusionment with the Russian army. Before that, all data, all information uh, was taken by the population from the Russian TV channels like the Stars, Zvezda, and uh, now uh, people frustrated that it was all disinformation. Despite this, labor migrants who were lured into propaganda and the financial incentives or two and a half thousand dollars in the Russian rubles have lost their lives and their uh, coffins are sent back to their families. At times, representatives of the Russian Federation and government agencies in Kyrgyzstan attend the funerals under pressure. The Russian ethnic population in the Kyrgyz Republic seeing Russia as their historical homeland. The other groups play uh, an active role in Russian propaganda efforts and oppose uh, any initiatives aimed uh, at promoting solidarity with Ukraine among the local population. With the presence of Russian advisors in the country's law enforcement agencies and the overwhelming presence of pro-Russian media, these groups quickly organize counter rails and remove Ukrainian symbols from the streets during uh, pro-Ukrainian uh, pro demonstrations. Additionally, they engage in online conflicts in support of their views in support to the Russian position in this conflict. However, it's evident that the majority of the population in our country, Kyrgyz Republic, recognize and conference uh, the historical and legal truth and are aware of which side they stand with. Therefore, the most influential individuals, including the nation's elite, show their unwavering support uh, toward Ukraine in this war. Despite some challenges, it's a deeply hoped uh, this, uh, that this conflict will come to an end and peace will be restored. Overall, the people of Kyrgyz Republic stand in solidarity with those defending and protecting their homeland, territorial integrity and security. And in the current conflict, that is Ukraine. So, that's all I told you about the position, uh, about the opinions, thoughts in the Kyrgyz uh, communities, in the Kyrgyz people. Uh, the sponsorship of this video was uh, uh, made by the Shashev Partners, my company. We're making the business plans. You will find the link to make the uh, order in the um, end of this video and uh, you can uh, for if you want to uh, deeply understand the Kyrgyz people and find what the Kyrgyz people thinking what's their mentality and what a future Kyrgyz people uh, sees in the uh, as a, a preferred future 
uh, to, for deep understanding of Kyrgyz people, I recommend you my book. My, I'm selling it on Amazon. If you have a Amazon Kindle, you, you can take it free without any payments. Uh, you can scan this uh, QR code and uh, go to the Amazon site and download this book. Uh, so you can support and make the sponsorship to my channel by this action. See you in next my videos. I, uh, I will uh, try to make more content on English language. If you uh, find my channel, you can see that uh, most of videos on the Kyrgyz language, uh, some uh, videos on the Russian. But I will try to make the English ver uh, videos uh, number increased. So, see you soon.